Thank you for clicking on this video. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how a good setup can maximize the sonic potential of even an inexpensive instrument. The bass in question today is a Squire by Fender, precision style bass. This bass is from their Affinity series line, and this particular bass is from the early 2000s. This bass was made in China and was really targeting the entry-level beginner market. This bass belongs to a friend of mine named Arthur, so huge shout out and thank you to Arthur for lending me this bass. When Arthur and I got talking, we discovered that this bass was fighting him in a few different ways, and he found it difficult to play. The first area was the string height. The action was pretty high, and he found that he just needed to take too much effort to, uh, to fret the notes, and that resulted in the instrument fighting him. The second issue with this instrument is that the further you went up the neck, the more out of tune it played, and that got to be uh, irritating for him. The third major issue was, especially higher up the neck, the tone started to have this kind of chorusing or, or phasey type sound to it. Uh, and that was also uh, found to be irritating. So we got talking and I offered to set the bass up uh, for my friend. And I wanted to see whether or not those efforts could transform this bass into a solid workhorse of an instrument. So the first thing I did was I took off the old strings and Upon further investigation, I discovered that those strings were incredibly heavy. Uh, they were gauges 110 on the low E to 50. And that was, that's pretty heavy. Uh, now, I, I like playing kind of lower tension strings myself. So first thing I did was to suggest going down to a, to a, a lighter gauge. Once I had all the strings off, uh, I, uh, recondition this rosewood fretboard with some lemon oil and I use a product from Planet Waves but really any of those um, lemon oil products would do. It's just to get some moisture back and to protect the uh, uh, protect the fingerboard and also to wash off some of the grime and dirt uh, and all the other uh, finger oils and kind of crud from your fingers from playing. Wipe it all off, polish off all the frets and after that was dry I restrung it back up and I adjusted the truss rod. This neck was very much bowed this way. There was far too much relief. So what was happening is when the strings come over, you kind of create this ellipse where in the middle portion of the neck, all those notes were very, very hard to play because the strings were so far off the fingerboard. So I ended up straightening the neck by tightening that truss rod. Uh, I adjusted all the saddle heights accordingly. We strung it right back up the tension, uh, and then I re-intonated uh, the bass, seeing how we now had uh, a lighter gauge of strings and the neck curvature has been changed. For this bass, I chose to put uh, Fender Nickels, uh, and these are gauges 100 to 45, so lighter than the 110 to 50. Now, I think I have this bass playing pretty well now. The action can go even lower, but I found that the sound became a little more choked, so I brought it up just a little bit. Now, I'm not one to rely on measurements, uh, so I don't bring out the rulers and, and adjust the action to uh, down to the millimeter. I instead prefer to rely on feel and how the instrument kind of reacts uh, when I'm playing. And my main reasoning for this is every instrument has their own sweet spot. So even though I kind of have like a type of spec of what I like to feel, that doesn't work on every instrument across the board. So you really need to uh, experiment and find the sweet spot for each individual instrument. So for this one, I think I have it uh, set up fairly low, not as low as it can go, but certainly is much more comfortable to play now. It plays in tune because uh, I have intonated it at the 12th fret and actually even uh, checked several frets higher. So that plays in tune. 
The other thing I did is I lowered the pickup height because what uh, what I found was the pickup height was was pretty high and was too close to the strings and that resulted in a bit of a uh, excessive magnetic pull on the strings which created that chorus type phasey sound. So by lowering it um, I was able to minimize that and what I do is I put on headphones and I and I listen and I adjust the pickup height until that effect goes away. So I think I've achieved uh, a pretty comfortable setup on this bass now and now you can get a variety of different tones and um, let me demonstrate that for you. So here's with the bass wide open now. Let's roll the tone knob down to 50%. Now let's roll the tone knob all the way off. Let me demonstrate the upper fret access and tone for you now. So I'm at the highest fret and it doesn't fret out. One more uh, check I like to do is checking the intonation with the harmonic at the 12th fret. So here we go. Let's fret the note. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this bass now plays pretty well, and I think I've maximized um, what you can get out of this particular bass. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.